Rome, how was the flight this morning? It was it was great. Um, you know, I flew us, so you know, I got us right. Um, got us here safely, and um, yeah, it's been good. We saw Caleb crash your Zoom interview yesterday. When he finds out that you're going to be his teammate, what was that moment like between you guys backstage when you get to like envision this? What you started a couple weeks ago with the workout now becoming a reality. Yeah, it's kind of surreal. You know, the 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 little things. You know, before any of us knew how it was all going to play out, um, that happened before were, were kind of special to make that moment even more special because you know it actually came to fruition. So um, it's super super exciting. You know, to be be a be a teammate of his and um, to be along this journey together. Um, something that's special and something hopefully um, when we're done with our careers we look back on is you know the first moment that we realized we were you know teammates. Sorry Rome. Rome have you heard from uh, DJ or Keenan Allen uh, since uh, you got picked yesterday? I believe so. I think they've texted in the group chat that uh, we, I was in when we did our workout um, just congratulating us both so yeah those guys have already reached out. Yeah. Rome when you played against Caleb what stood out about his game at USC? Oh, man, it was, you know, embarrassing to watch some of the things that he was doing to our defense. So, um, you know, very special and a very unique skill set. You know, when you watch him play, um, there's things that he can do on the field that, you know, you don't see any other quarterback doing. So um, he, he brings a unique skill set, skill set. He's very confident in the pocket, very confident, you know, extending a play. And, uh, you know, you, the, the play's never over till you know, the whistle's blowing. You know that. Ryan Pohl said that he was sweating it out, uh, waiting, hoping to get you at nine, what does that mean to you? And were you at all sweating it out or were you just gonna be happy wherever you went? I definitely had the mindset to, you know, be happy wherever I went, but you know, in the back of my mind, you know, I, the Bears visit went tremendously well and I came into this facility and, and the attitude and, and, and the the effort that they put into to my to my visit and to the conversations that we had was incredible. So, um, you know, I knew when that phone call came in that, um, you know, from Illinois that it was going to be the Bears and I was super excited. So um, I'm happy he had that, you know, uh, you know, sweat to come get me as well. You know, you always want to be somewhere where you're wanted, right? So um, I want to be here. They wanted me here. And I think that's a, a good connection to have. Room this year. This year, did you keep track of where people were slotting you, kind of in the mock drafts and the rankings? Because you really seem to rise pretty regularly throughout the season as you kind of showed what you could do. During the season, no, I really didn't. During the season, no, my number one focus was, you know, making sure I was there for my team and making sure, you know, I was, you know, fully prepared every week to to help my team win um, and go on that national cha championship run that we did. So during the week, no, but you know, through the off season, um, working towards the combine and all those different things, I would look at it every now and then. But I don't put any validity into the drafts because, you know, they've never been fully correct, so you never know how it'll work out. How about the conversation? Go to you. Well, I understand it's almost like kismet with you and the Bears because your first jersey was Urlacher. Devin Hester is your favorite player. Your aunt took you to North, North, you know, from Northwestern, took you to the Air and Water Show. How does it all factor in? It's crazy. It really is. It's kind of surreal just because, you know, all those things are coincidences, right? But, um, you know, you start to think about it, and it's like, man, is it really a coincidence? You know, you speak into existence, all these different things, these coincidences um, happen, and now I'm here. It, it just makes it that much more special, and, um, you know, it, it kind of seems like it, it was meant to be. So um, to be somewhere, you know, to have that history as it growing up, um, you know, going to the air show, Devin Hester being my favorite player, first jersey is a Bears jersey in Erlacher, um, you know, it, it's almost too good to be true. What was it about those conversations you had with the Bears that made you feel like this is going so well, this is such a great fit uh, that you wanted to come here? I feel like they truly did their research on me, honestly. I think they really understand um, what, what I could bring to the offense and what can I, I can bring to this organization. And when I was having those conversations with them, it wasn't like I felt um, you know, they, they uh, had missed anything um, about me and who I was as a person and who I was as a player. So um, I appreciated that. You know, I did my research as well on them, you know, knowing that um, you know, who I was coming in with and, and who they were, they were trying to get in the draft and who was already in the, the wide receiver core as a whole. So you know, I think we had that mutual respect for one one another that created a, a great visit. In doing your research on them, I'm sure even like beyond beyond like last year, this is a team that was built for so long on defense. To see the investment that they made yesterday, not only with Caleb but with you and what they're building offensively, what kind of feeling do you get coming into a unit like that? 
excited, you know, excited to attack, really. Um, it, it really reminds me of, you know, all the key key pieces that I had in college and the pieces coming together um, for the incredible seasons that we had. It really, you know, feels that, that, that same feeling, you know, how many, having so many weapons on offense, bringing in a guy like Caleb, which, you know, you know, at the helm of it all, um, allows us to do so many different things. So I'm super excited for the, uh, you know, uh, attack mindset that we'll have on offense, the explosiveness that we can bring to any football field, and I think it'll be special. How do you describe your experience last season with Washington of, of going on that climb and, and winning the Pac-12 and winning the college football playoff game and playing for the, the college football national championship. What was that journey like last season? It was it was great. It was a lot of adversity, you know, a lot of perseverance through some tough times, and I think uh, through a lot of doubt as well. You know, you guys are over here on the east side of the country, so I don't know if you guys were staying up to watch our games. Um, so um, a lot of people counted us out and continued to do so all the way up until the last very last game. So um, we had that chip on our shoulders, knowing that um, the only thing that mattered was what was in that locker room and, and the effort that. Um, we put forward and invested in one another. So, um, you know, through a lot of that adversity, through that perseverance, we believed in one another, and I think that that can take you a long way. You mentioned, you know, playing with some pretty good players in Washington. What did you see defense? How, how did you see defenses get stressed by the fact that you had other really good receivers? And if you thought about what that could look like this year with Keenan and DJ, absolutely. You know, I'm stepping into uh, stepping out of a you know a very good wide receiver core into a, you know another great one. So um, for me, it, it's very reminiscent of that exact, exact same situation. And I think when you have a wide receiver core like this and a quarterback who can you know throw the ball anywhere on the field from any body position from anywhere on the field, um, it just creates too many problems for defenses. You know, it, it puts a lot of holes and defenses and you have a lot of solutions for different coverages so just having that availability and having um you know wide receiver core that can out there and make plays and a quarterback to make plays at any given moment um it, it's hard for any defense to completely game plan for that do you enjoy the the, the challenge of potentially changing the, or being part of the group that changes the perception or the reality of the Chicago Bears that the, the offense has been inconsistent at best through the years. I mean, you guys have heard that. Do you like that idea of, of changing it around? Definitely, definitely. You know, I come from Seattle where, where people thought, you know, how can you have an offense like we did, number one passing in the nation when it rains like that? Um, and, and how can you compete through those conditions? And, you know, people say it's cold and it's not the environment to have success out here in, in Chicago. And for me, I don't have that mindset at all, you know, to be able to come in here um, and, and for us to do exactly what, what we, we say we're going to do. And that's have a lot of success on offense and, and, and put points on the board to, to win games and, and play team oriented football. So um, we're going to play our, our part to a tee um, on the offensive side of the ball. And, um, you know, every, everybody's perception, I, I think, will continue to, to shift. From when, when you stayed late the combine trying to perfect that three-cone drill, why? What, 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 is that, what, what, what did that mean to you, that moment, trying to, trying to get that straight? I think for me, you know, I had told everybody that I was going to finish the combine and, and I was going to compete in everything that I did. So um, w when I was going through that process, I wasn't they weren't giving me a time because they didn't say I was doing um, the drill exactly how they wanted it done. So um, to me, I, I wasn't leaving that field until I had completed every single task that I said I was going to complete. And, and that's just me as a man. I feel like I, I hold my word um, very, very sternly and, and doing what I say I'm going to do. And it was my goal to go out there and compete at every single thing in the the combine, so I wasn't going to leave the field till I was done. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.